This is the driving simulator. And here we are playing, a car racing game with it. This stick or throttle is for moving forward and reverse. And this is our steering wheel, to turn left and right. The concept of this simulator is straightforward. To get the exact position of the throttle and the steering wheel, we have attached a potentiometer to each of them. Whenever there is a change in their position, the respective key gets pressed on the keyboard. The Arduino's keyboard library takes care of the keys. This is the CAD design, of the simulator. Here we have a box. Two potentiometers are attached to it. The top potentiometer is for the steering wheel, and the one on the side is for the throttle. We have connected a pencil to this potentiometer. Whenever the pencil is moved forward or backward, the knob of the potentiometer also moves with it. This potentiometer will be used for accelerating the car forward and reverse. Here we have a steering wheel attached to another potentiometer, the knob of the potentiometer rotates as we rotate the steering, clockwise or anti-clockwise. This will be used to steer the car. Both the potentiometer are connected to the microcontroller. And this is what we have made, as per the CAD design. Here we have the cardboard disc attached to the top of the box, with the potentiometer. When rotated it will act as a steering wheel. To the side of the box, we have a paper tube. When tilted it will act as a throttle. The only difference here is that our steering wheel does not have holes. And we have used a paper roll, instead of a pencil for throttle. Here we have the circuit schematic, for the driving simulator. It is a very simple design. Two potentiometers connected with Arduino Uno prototyping board, via the analog input pins. This is the real design. Here the potentiometers are connected inside the box. This is for the steering. And this one is for the throttle. Both are wired and ready. The wires are coming out of the box from the back side. These wires are then connected to the power source, and the microcontroller, via the breadboard. Here we have used Arduino MKRGSM1400 prototyping board, instead of Arduino Uno. Because the Arduino Uno does not support the keyboard library. This is our first prototype, we will check all the connections and working of the components with Arduino's serial plotter. Here we have the plotter which shows the graph, respective to the motion of the throttle and steering. Here we are moving the steering, and we can see the red signal moving. And here is the blue signal for the throttle, which is also moving proportionally to the throttle. Did you notice something? Even if the steering is kept straight, the red signal fluctuates significantly. We will tell you, how we dealt with this issue later in this video. And here we can see, the proportional text output, of the variations in throttle, and steering. So our code is also working fine. Now we can add the logic to press the respective keys. Did you notice something? There is a lag between the actual movement, and the serial output. This is because, we have added a 100 millisecond delay, after every loop iteration. Also, we forgot to synchronize the two videos, and now one is ahead of the other. This is our final model. With it, we can control the car in this game. So, let's play. Let's drive forwards. Stop. Reverse. Okay. The throttle is working fine. Steer, a little bit left. Steer, a little bit right. Okay, the steering is also working fine. Let's play football with it. We will aim and hit the ball. What a goal! We should send this car to the FIFA World Cup. Let's jump! Over this ramp! Let's check the handling, of this car. It is pretty maneuverable. Let's do, loop the loop. Let's make this car, 
a flying car. Wow, what a jump. This car is invincible. I would like to have this car in the real world. The values from the steering potentiometer fluctuated, even though the steering was kept stable. So, we used the averaging technique, in the code, to smooth out the values. Here we can see the actual value, without averaging. Now let's see the averaged values. Here, the blue signal is the actual signal, and the red is averaged signal. This graph is the average for the current value, and the previous value. It is a little bit smooth, compared to the current. This graph is the average for the current value, and the previous four values. It is very smooth, compared to the current. This graph is the average for the current value, and the previous nine values. It is very very smooth, compared to the current. But the average signal is also a damped signal and there is a lag compared to the actual. We use the average of the current value and previous four values. It helped us to steer the car accurately. After using this technique, our car started working fine. For more details on how to filter, or smooth out any analog signal, watch this video. This driving simulator is highly modular, and modifiable. It can be modified to be used to play any computer game. It gives the player, a natural feel of the game. The player feels like they are driving a real car. That's all for now, see you again, with more robotic technologies, robotics every day.